So the debate surrounding the demonstrations during the national anthem in the NFL has divided our nation, some might say. And it's an issue that's divided fans of the same teams and people living right in the same city. But one person who knows the climate in Seattle very well is former Seattle Supersonics head coach and player Lenny Wilkins. And I spoke with him about the recent climate. For it to still exist, okay, what else can we do? How do we address this situation? NBA Hall of Famer, champion, former player, and Seattle Supersonics head coach Lenny Wilkins has a lot on his mind. We spoke about racism in the world and athletes choosing to take a stance against it during the national anthem. Some would say this has really been a problem for a long time, and Mr. Wilkins is no stranger to that. As a youngster, I got stopped. I lived in uh, St. Louis when you couldn't eat in the restaurants downtown. I mean, I went through a lot of that. So I, I think that uh, to say uh, I was very disappointed in our president. Uh, you don't call them sons of bees. I mean, he should know better. Wilkins tells me not only did he notice how President Trump responded to athletes choosing to peacefully take a stance against racism, but he saw and heard how the president responded to the Charlottesville, Virginia white nationalist rally that turned deadly. I think that he always tries to make everything convenient for himself, okay? And uh, what he said down there that you know, oh, there were nice people on both sides, you know, that's baloney, okay? And then all of a sudden, these are not good people. These guys, some of these guys were in the military. Wilkins was in the military and understands how people fought and died for the American flag. But he also says people should stand up for what they believe in, especially when it involves everyone being treated equally. These young men are getting that opportunity because they're on national TV all the time. And so they're saying that, hey, we support our brothers. We want them to have a fair opportunity, okay? And so for Michael Bennett to speak out, you know, I, uh, you know Richard Sherman, uh, I, I think it's great. And he has a message for these athletes of today who are in the spotlight. Many years ago, there were guys that had to be careful. You go back to Jackie Robinson, all right? I'm a big Jackie Robinson fan. I, li I grew up in Brooklyn in Bed-Stuy. I went to Ebbets Field. I saw him, okay? And he was a man on the field and off the field, all right? And he had to deal with a lot. But he still let people know that you have to respect me. Well, to the athletes, I tell them, keep, keep supporting your brothers. Now, Mr. Wilkins tells me that the president needs to understand that he represents everybody and he can't pick sides.